I'm going to practice decision making by doing some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you are new to this version, there's a link in the video description below to an introduction. Also, there's a link to this quick reference, which has all the fawn. Fawn are scoring elements. Each of the fawn have a value associated to them. The more difficult, the higher the value. You have to have eight points to even qualify to win. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. We'll roll these dice to determine which seat we're in. I rolled a seven. That means we're going to be player three. Player three, and it is East Round. We got a flower. The number doesn't matter. Any flower is a point, but it's not included in your eight point minimum. Single honors. Anytime I have single honors, which are dragons and winds, I look for lesser honors and knitted tiles. The knitted tiles are the numbers. So with these number tiles, we need one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, three blocks. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Here's a three, nine, two, five, eight, one, four, seven. I think that's what I would try for here. Three, six, nine, two, five, eight, one, four, seven. So we'd have to discard these four back here. One four seven two five eight three six nine single honors. That particular fawn is number thirty four and it is twelve points. All singles, no pairs. So you have to draw those specific tiles. One four seven two five eight three six nine. And the reason for that, let's see if I can find the tiles so you can see. One four seven three six nine two five eight. So here's an eight. There's a two. Okay, there's three six nine. We need a one four seven. So here we go. One four seven. Two five eight three six nine. If you look down the column, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is why it's called knitted. One four seven across, two five eight across, three six nine across. But when you put them in a palette, you have chows. One, two, three in each suit, four, five, six in each suit, seven, eight, nine in each suit. That's called knitted. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. So this is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This would be a winning hand right here. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. That looks like too many, but nope, that's right. Chunky tiles, one four seven two five eight three six nine. Single honors, any combination. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. So that's what I would try for. We had four discards. If you would have done something differently, let me know. So that was East round. We're going to do South round now. I rolled a seven. We're going to be player three.
we're in west seat south round we have a pair of souths if we pung three of a kind we get two points for that because it's the wind of the round we have a concealed pung with cracks six cracks two three eight nine in dots and then a single bam so i think if we went with a half flush we would have five discards that's kind of a lot well really by one tile i try to make a decision to where i have four discards or less with my plan so it's a little bit of a long shot the other thing i was thinking is maybe we could do outside hand we would need another we would need nines and sevens because outside hand you have to have a one or a nine in each block here we could do one two three one two three seven eight nine seven eight nine pung a south one two three four five we really wouldn't need that but i'd rather leverage this so i think what i might do here instead is pung the south we do have potential here for mixed double chow that's only one point though we could void a suit two three four we still need four we would still need four points okay so i think i think what i would do all right i would play i would play a half flush seat wind one two three four we need a pair in here a couple more cracks or another honor would be great but we could chow pung chow pung discard these play half flush half flush seat uh wind of the round so half flush is number 50 that's six points this would be two so that'd be eight i think that's what i would do if we get the final eight and we use it in different blocks we could also do tile hog tile hog is number 64 four puns or chows in a pair including a single tile in separate sets no kong so let's see tile hog including a single tile i think i have to look up tile hog and try to understand that more four puns or chows in a pair including a single tile in separate sets no kong it doesn't say no pung so i think you just have to have one of the tiles in a different block like we could pung and then use the other one as a in a chow so that would be tile hog because you're hogging all four tiles so we could chow pung chow pung we would just need a crack or an honor for the pair so i would discard these we would have to draw really well so if you would do something different here let me know i think i would discard these first hold this see what happens maybe even hold the eight since we have the eight here maybe double pung okay west round this time we're going to be in south seat
Okay. We have three cracks, two, three BAMs, four dots, including a pair. Pair fives, single wins. You know what I was thinking here? We could maybe do lesser honors and knitted tiles again. Single wins, three, six, nine, one, four, seven, two, five, eight. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine singles. So we would need to draw a seven crack, a seven bam, two crack, three, six dot. So that'd be three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. We would need maybe two more, let's see, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, two more honors, singles. There are no pairs in this fawn. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. 12 points. That's number 34. I think I would try that. Maybe discard the six first because we do have two pair. If we pair up again, I might switch to all pung. All pung, terminal pung, maybe a valued honor. We are in south seat, but it is west round and that's the west. If we pair up in Pung, that's two points. All Pung is six points. Pung of the Wind of the Round is two, so that would be eight. But if we did Lesser Honors and Knitted Tiles, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five discards. That's kind of a lot. But having only two pair for all Pung, that's terrible. And we don't have enough dots for maybe a half flush, we would have six discards. Either way, with either of those plans, we really didn't use this. So I would start by discarding the six BAM and then see what comes in pick by pick. If we pair up, go for Pungs. If we get these single tiles, seven BAM, two crack, three six dot, then I would push for Lesser honors and knitted tiles. We do have four, six, five, and five, but we're really light with chow potential here. There is a scoring element called mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is number 41, and that's eight points. I don't think I would try that in this case. If I had another tile here, I would. And we need a tile to discard to get us started. So I probably would discard the six. If you would do something different here, let me know. This is West Pull. Now we're going to do the North round. And this time, I rolled, I promise you, I rolled a seven. That would be west. We have a flower. Oh, another flower. Seven crack. Okay, three bams, five dots, four cracks, single honor. Any combination of winds and dragons is called honors. So we have a one, two, and a nine. There's a chow, one, two, three. Pair of sixes, no other pairs. Hmm. Okay, 
What about mixed shifted chows? Mixed shifted chows is six points, number 51. If we get rid of the dragon, that would be no honors. That's one point. That is number 76. But we could do one, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Mix shifted chows. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, seven. So we need two points elsewhere. Maybe so that's six. We have one, two, three blocks. No honors, terminal pung. I think that's what I would do. So I would discard the green dragon. Probably, let's see. Terminal pung is one point. No honors is one point. Mix shifted chows is six. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Those are good to go. We would just need to pair up one of these terminals and pung. So I think what I would do here. is discard the green dragon first. Then I would probably discard the seven dot and chow, pair up a terminal and pung, then be ready to win on anything. I think that's how I would play this one. If you would do something different, let me know. I see a lot of people winning with chow hands, repeating patterns or shifted patterns, shifted chows, shifted pungs, number tiles. They're very flexible and there are a lot of fawn that use number tiles. especially with chows, lots of chow potential. And chows are flexible, so they typically make for a pretty quick hand, at least from what I've experienced so far. Mahjong competition rules is relatively easy to learn and play. The challenge is with all the scoring elements. You've got to have eight points to qualify to win. That's where this comes in. You've got to be able to learn enough scoring elements to play quickly because the game does move pretty quickly, especially if the players at the table know the scoring elements. If you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls. It's a great way to memorize fawn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.